Hello guys, so I wanted to come on here to do a Dollar Tree candle review slash candle empties for the month of August. Yes, August. I haven't done candle empties in a while, so I'm kind of behind on them, which I haven't really been burning a whole lot of candles here lately. So I figured that since I have been burning some of these Dollar Tree candles and I've been sort of uh, complaining about some of them, I'd get on here and share the, one, the candles that I like and the candles that I don't like. So, um... And again, this is just my um, opinion. You know, everybody smells different and we all have the right to voice our opinion. And this is my opinion on all these candles. So, um, that being said, okay, before I get started. So, Away Girl had mentioned, which I didn't know this because, you know, I'm, I typically just grab candles if, if they smell good when I open them and get them. So, for instance, these here are the Starlights. And this one is in Vanilla Bean here. And they burn really good. And it's a mason jar, can, um, you know, container. So I do like that. I do like the packaging. And this one here is in Fresh Cherries. Now, these are soy-based. These two are soy-based soy candles. The scent throw to these totally suck, in my opinion. Like, I burned these. And you can barely, barely, barely smell them. And, like, it just really gets on my nerves. So, these here, unfortunately, is a fail to me. Would I repurchase them? Probably not. I mean, if they were to come out with a scent that I would love, like maybe coffee or, you know, some strong scent flavor candle, yes, I would. But these here are a fail to me. Um, now, for like a gift or something, because the jar is cute, it's a dollar, I would probably do that for something quick. But I wouldn't repurchase any of these just for myself. Um, just because... You know, some people likes to get candles just to burn and just to look at. But me, in another way, no. I If I want to get a candle, the daggum candle better, better smell, right? Because, you know, that's just how I roll. Some people don't care if they smell. Some people don't. Some people do. I do. So, anyways, Away Girl had mentioned this and i can't remember if i've done talk to this it seems like a monday to me guys but anyway so there's two different brands here this is the starlights and um these ones here are by the w old williamsboro candle company and um now i will tell you this so this one here is a cinnamon bun scented candle i lit this in my living room and this one's been burning all morning and I burned this like two, two different times. And I will have to say the scent throw to these are fairly good. It's not one of those strong type candles because of course it's small. And these are basically for small rooms. But this here does smell. It smells really good. So there's two different brands. You know, if you're looking for something that smells, go for this. Any of the O. Williamsboro candles. So there's this one here, and I've not burned any of these other ones, but I'm just going to show you. Like this one's an old Williamsboro candle. This one's in blueberry pie. A lot of people has hauled these from the Dollar Tree. This one's cranberry smash, and I did. I burned this one. This one did smell, but again, the smell was like. Let me see if I can open this. It was very light, but it was very. It was more stronger than the Starlights. The Starlights, in my opinion, suck. And it is a clean burn. This is like a berry top, um, you know, scent. Smells freaking amazing. And I'm going to be saving these containers for um, something for Christmas. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but that's what I have planned. This is my second cup of joe. This is the white um, coffee, and it's the chocolate morsels. If y'all haven't tried white coffee, please do so because it's a lot stronger than your regular black coffee. Okay, so I'm totally off subject again, right? And then this one here is the banana nut bread. Haven't burned this one either. This one's by the old um, Williamsboro. I cannot say that. Another one of the candles that I like by that same company is this here. Now, I pulled this out of my stash. This is from last year, but this is Air Fresh. And as you can see right there, it is the old Williamsboro candle. And this one is in Wintel's. God, I cannot talk today. Winter spruce. And oh my God, it smells freaking divine. I'm all about any of these like pine smells and I can't wait to burn this one. So any of those I do like. Now, 
one of my favorite all-time candle by Dollar Tree. And about two years ago, I guess it was. I think it was maybe last year or the year before. Okay, do y'all remember those candles? It was like a cappuccino type candle. And it was by this company and it was in this packaging. Oh my God, I can never find those. I'm hoping this fall they get them back out or towards Christmas. Because guys, let me tell you. That candle smelt like a big cup of coffee. And it, honest to God, it, like if y'all burnt that candle, it was the strongest candle scent throw wise that I have ever purchased from Dollar Tree. So if they come out with that candle this year, guys, please, please pick it up because it is amazing. Like totally amazing. But anyways, I did like this one. Another one of the candles that I enjoyed fairly well is this Woodcraft. This is the Crackling... Um, and my freaking can um, phone's not going to um, focus. But this one's in Granny Smith. And it is the um, crackling candles. They did crackle, but they're so small. You couldn't hear it a whole lot. But oh my god, the smell on these are amazing. And it's not as it's not so strong that, you know, it's like wow. But it's like for a dollar, for a Dollar Tree candle, they smell really good. So I do recommend any of these woodcraft candles like the woodcraft candles and these um williams burl candles are great the last one that i have here is this one and this one's a natural natural vanilla scented candle guys stay far away from this because it didn't have no freaking smell at all and what's the company on this I guess it's this one here, the natural. But anyways, it burned really good. And I was thinking about maybe saving this packaging for something, the container. But I don't feel like saving it. So, yeah, I didn't like any of these. It didn't have a scent throw. So, yeah. But anyways, that's some little reviews of Dollar Tree type candles. Now, on to my empties. Now, these are not Dollar Tree empties. But I, do, I did want to share these because I didn't want to have to make two separate videos. Since, you know, I don't have that many candles as it is here. So, the first one that I have, this one was a Airwick candle, and it was like a, a mountain top scent from last year. So, I don't even know if you can repurchase that, but it, I love these. They smell good, and they're clean burning, like, you know. So, anytime that I see those and they're on sale, I will pick them up. And I can't remember if I shared this with you all last time in my empties. It seems like I burned it this past month but this is the uh, winter ski resort oh my god it smells like a man it's lovely and it's divine and if i see this this year i'm gonna pick it up because that candle is amazing you can get that at walmart and it is by better homes and gardens the next candles that i have here are these um m m candles they're it came three in a pack this one here is, and I've got the thing here, so let's see. This one was the milk chocolate. They burned really good and they smelled amazing. The, like, the milk chocolate smelled like coffee to me. This one here is the red hot apple cinnamon, which smelled really good. And then this one here was the nutty lemon. And they're, they're little small jars, but they smell really good. And then, let's see. The last one that I have is another one of these um, Hawaiian Febreze candles, which I've shared millions of times because I've got a lot of those. And then the last thing that I have are these wax melts by True Living from uh, Dollar General. This is the Blooming Hibiscus. Wasn't too fond on these. Um, I mean, 50 cents. They're normally like $2, I think. But, I mean, they were okay for a cheap brand. Would I repurchase them? No. I've still got tons of these left, so I've got to go through those sometimes. But anyways, that is my Dollar Tree like, mini review type thing and my mini candle. Oh, wait a minute. I've got one more. This one here. So, this one I purchased from, my, um, was it Michael's? I think it was last year, I think it was, last fall. I had purchased a bunch of these. They had these on clearance for like a dollar or two. And I've got like five left. And this is the first one I burnt from those. But this is by Ashland. And it's the 
plumeria. Oh my god, it smells so good. And for a dollar, a dollar fifty. I can't remember if it was a dollar fifty or two dollars. It was somewhere around that range. This candle has burned for two weeks. Totally love it. I've been burning it in my kitchen. It's not one of those really strong scents, but it smells my whole kitchen and it's very light frank frequented. Cannot talk today, guys. Um, but anyways, totally recommend this Ashland brand. And I did purchase that from Michaels. I don't know where you can get those other than there. Because I, I don't even think I've seen those anywhere else before. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to share that with you all. And hope y'all are having a good day. I'm going to get off here and drink the rest of my Joe. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.